Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 7 video in VCP 8 data center virtualization 2023 and we are going to see in this video configuring the roles, privilege and permissions in vCenter server. So roles uh, we have seen in last video somehow uh, some of the things and privilege and permission. So basically it's not about uh, what permission you are going to give to some of the users or some of the your admins or department and all. So basically you need to f always be focused on what type of access your user actually required. So let's say if they need access, uh, let's say if you have a L1 team, okay, which requires a uh, server uh, monitoring or you can say server reboot or VM level actually only virtual machine level work so you can give them the correct rights so they can basically work around only virtual machines if uh, like uh, creating machines deleting machines or taking snapshot adding hard disk removing a hard disk uh, upgrading the virtual machine configuration and anything let's say uh, another example you have a L2 team who requires to work on you know um, ESXi level also or vCenter level or you can say the they can they can touch your networks uh, networking thing or they can basically you know do the stuff related to some uh, data store configuration and all and you have one team who have all the administrator rights in your vCenter server infrastructure to do anything and everything so basically you need to make sure whenever you are giving any rights to your infrastructure vCenter infrastructure to any end user make sure they have a correct rights because if someone has a incorrect rights let's say a full admin rights or anything like that they can so maybe maybe it can harm somehow if they did some mistake in your infrastructure it can lead to you know big big outage or all so make sure you have always correct rights permissions and role assigned to your end users or you can say departments or group of users and all so we'll see how how we can do that so our demo, uh, demo environment is same which we used in last video so we got one domain controller and one vcenter server so this is my win to get 22 dc01 this is my domain controller and this is my vcenter server so i'll go right directly here and if you see here i'm inside my vcenter server and to verify roles and permission you basically need to go in administration so if you see here by default vmware has few roles created if you go here you will see in under vspa.local these all roles are automatically created so administrator if you go on on users you will see who have administrator rights so you will see this lab hands on uh, slash uh, vcenter admin having administrator rights then the default administrator and privilege if i go here you will see alarms everything so this user having all the rights in your vcenter infrastructure to do anything and everything so read only again it has no privilege assigned so it will basically have a read only access only and no access you will see here basically no no access in if you go like auto update and all you will see some privileges there you know so this is uh, uh, content library administrator you will see all the content library related rights this user have same thing data consumer allocate space this user having network administrator having assigned network rights and then nsx administrator have modify nsx configuration nsx auditor having read nsx configuration nsx vi administrator manage nsx configuration so resource pool administrator having all these rights you will see here create modify remove alarms modify permission so basically this is what you know so before creating let's say if you added someone in uh, a resource pool administrator and basically it does not require access rights to create task modify remove a task you know let's say if you by mistake you added someone uh, in a resource pool administrator and they you know, went in a scheduled task or deleted some you know scheduled task or you know uh, done anything related to virtual machine let's say uh, removed virtual machine from inventory or unregistered delete anything like that so these all things you can see here they can clone machines and all uh, so you need to make sure 
if if you want to assign a certain uh, lim, uh, you know uh, privilege then you can do that also so sync users having these all rights like uh, sync users also can uh, work uh, work everything related to you know vspa tagging so again uh, this is a one of the example tagging admin hall has all the rights for tagging but the sync user having admin rights for the tags so this is some uh, something somehow related may uh, because sync users require a tagging administrator rights but if you want someone to give specifically rights to only create assign tag or edit tag then you can uh, give this otherwise if you want to customize you can do it so let's say uh, this is again some kind of you know vcl admin having rights to the you know virtual machine and all virtual machine console administrator what they can do they can in uh, they can basically power on power off or restart virtual machine virtual machine power on uh, power user sample so they have uh, they have all the basic rights to play with virtual machines like power of power and they can change memory cpu setting and everything virtual machine sample user this having basic rights with the sample uh, virtual machine to install vmware tools install power of power and all those things vm admin vm service admin and then we got same kind of you know mm, vm operator controller manager so they can create folder delete folder assign tags okay and they can uh, basically do everything related with the virtual machine and then they have access to vapp also if they want to do anything so these are the predefined you know roles in the system but let's say if you want to give some role for you uh, custom role so you can click on new and you can give the role name like l1 admin or you can say uh, you can put the description this uh, role is for l1 system admin theme and now what rights you want to go give you know so let's say you want to give them virtual machine related rights so go to virtual machine select all okay and then what else you need let's say you want to give them something related with alarms okay they they can basically uh, acknowledge alarms they can uh, basically you know uh, not uh, create and delete so basically they can if there is any alarm they can acknowledge and fix the issue okay let's say if you go to data store they can what they can do you know so you can uh, create those type uh, those type like folders you can give them uh, you know create folder rights or rename folder rights same thing if you want to go in other like you know resources or schedule tasks you can give them to create schedule task or modify or run don't give them to remove okay so uh, like custom uh, this is completely customizable you can do anything like as per your requirement so like storage policy apply storage policy you can give update storage policy so this type of let's say this is done and now you created one roll call l1 admin so now if you go here on privilege you will see what all privilege they have okay same kind of let's say if you have another group who has you know l2 admins and what rights you want to give you want to give them rights related to let's say host you want to give everything related to host you can give them host profile you can give them let's say what's your machine rights okay you can give them you know kind of uh, vSphere client rights okay you can give them tagging rights everything they can tag and all let's say you can give them task rights okay so based on your requirement schedule task you can give them so based on your requirement network related then folder and global they you can give them also rights to create like uh, act as a vcenter server you can uncheck re cancel task capacity planning and all you can give them rights okay and let's say data store level you can give 
you can give as a data store cluster and all and then you are done you know alarms rights if you want to give you can give them alarms right so create now you can see these two groups this group is also created you know so anytime if you want to come here and modify rights like if you want to add something or remove something you can come and add anything like you know compute policy content library rights uh, permission db switch distributed switch anything you want to add or remove right you can come here and you can update anytime and it will get applied immediately so now i have added this group okay so now if i go on permissions you will see here what all permissions you know we have so now if i go here and go to you know uh, content let's say go to inventory and if you see here permissions this is what we have so i'm what i'm going to do here now how we can add right so click on add and here i'm going to put group from you know domain so what i need to put here i'm going to create one group here in my domain so call it let's say Uh, let's say create a let's just create a directly user and assign the right so l1 admin you know and let's give the password and finished and same way create a l2 admin account so these two accounts are created now if i go here and search for user so l1 you can see l1 is there and now we can go here and give the rights you know whatever account we created so l1 admin and propagate to children so this is good now add same here so domain and l2 you can select the user and if you have created i recommend always go ahead and create a group not to give permission to users okay so yes now you see both l1 and l2 is added now if i log in with this l1 user let's verify what rights i have or permissions i have okay so this is l1 admin at absenson.lan so i should be able to log in with this yes i'm able to log in you can see here and l1 hyphen admin and now if i go and let's do something related with esxi host okay you'll see i don't have rights okay so let's say I want to create a virtual machine okay i don't have rights you see here so the rights are our permissions are coming through whatever rights we assigned in rules okay and now i will try to log in with l2 admin and will verify what rights i have so l2 hyphen admin labs and so on dot lan and password for this account This is good i'm able to log in now if i go here and let's do something you know related to esxi host so if you see here i got the rights to reboot the host okay because we have given uh, the permissions to at the host level so if i go now and show you the administration and if you see here go to basically l2 user you will see i have a host level access okay uh, host level rights so if i scroll down you will see what all rights i have so with the host what i can do you can see here all the list okay so inventory remove 
tag I have on the host profile I got the rights okay so this is what all rights I have so if I go here on the virtual machine you can see these things I can do right so change setting change memory change CPU count and these things I can do you know on the create inventory site create new you know or folder I can basically create a folder I guess because we have given create folder lights delete right so let's verify this okay so I'll go here and try to create one folder call it prod and click ok so you see here I'm able to create a folder so this is good and let's verify to delete delete child object from desk this is done now this is all about how you can play with uh, your you know uh, roles in vCenter servers and how you can create a customized roles basically and give them permission or privilege to your end users or groups in act uh, which is coming from active directory so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have, if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me my given email address thank you once again bye bye